Ooh. What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I want to talk about new exotics and old raids. Now about 3 or 4 days ago there was plenty of websites from all over the internet confirming the fact that you would be able to get new exotics which come with the House of Wolves on the 19th of May from old raids such as the Vault of Glass and the Crotus End Raid. Now when I first heard this I thought well if they're new exotics and they're Prison of Elders specific exotics then why are they giving us the option to get them from the Vault of Glass and the cause in raid, it just didn't make sense to me, but I just let it go straight over my head. Didn't really think twice about it. It wouldn't really stop people wanting to play the Prison of Elders anyway. And that's why I thought it's probably something that Bungie would do. But it's now been dropped and Bungie have clarified this. And I'm, I'm reading this from an IGN post, which I will link in the video description if you guys want to check it out. And I'm quoting IGN right here. Bungie have clarified their original statement and it would appear that new exotics will not be dropping in old raids. They sent through the following statement. I wanted to clarify the previously made comment about exotic items and raids with the launch of House of Wolves. Vault of Glass and Crota's End will begin to drop all the exotics at the new power levels from House of Wolves. Vault of Glass and Crota's End will not be dropping any of the new exotics. Their loot tables haven't changed, just the power level of the items they can drop. They also confirm that the difficulty level of old raids will not be changing with the expansions release. Now to be honest this makes more sense to me. This is the way I thought Bungie would have dropped it. I mean I played the House of Wolves, I played Prison of Elders and it makes sense that you get these new fallen exotics from the Prison of Elders and it didn't make sense to me where everybody was confirming a few days back where you could get these new exotics from the Vault of Glass and the Protoss End Raid. That didn't make sense to me, but like I said, I just let it go straight over my head and I wasn't really going to go against what all these websites were confirming. But it does seem now that you will not be able to get new exotics which come with the House of Wolves from the Vault of Glass and the Crotus End Raid. This in my opinion is better as it will get more people playing the Prison of Elders, which isn't a bad thing because the thing is absolutely amazing. You guys know I've played it and I can guarantee you guys will absolutely love it, you really will. So basically what they're stating is the exotic rewards you get from the Vault of Glass and the Crotus End Raid will be the higher level of exotic, but you won't get new exotics that come with the House of Wolves from the Vault of Glass or the Crotus End Raid. Now I know a lot of people won't agree with this, but at the end of the day, if you want new shit, you gotta play that new shit. And at the moment, we only know of three exotics that are coming, and they're all fallen themed exotics. We've got the we've got the Dreg's Promise, which is a secondary sidearm. We have the Lord of Wolves, which is a secondary shotgun, and we've got the Wild Rifle, which isn't its confirmed name which is a secondary sniper rifle those are the three exotics that we know are coming with the house of wolves and i've covered all the information we know about them already in a previous video and if you missed that i'll link it in the video description but guys tell me down below what you think about this new exotic not dropping in old raids to me it's a good thing but what do you think let me know down below thanks for stopping by as always do drop a like i do appreciate the support and peace out until next time peace Zone B to